keep the same panty liner on that you put on at 7 o'clock in the morning and have the same panty liner on more five. Why? You need plan. Why? I'm a pet, basically. Yeah, I'm a pet. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So this time around we're going to be doing things a little bit more differently. This is going to be a rather informative, serious video. You know, things that deal with us being women and the things that we go through every single month and how to take care of ourselves when that happens. So as you can already tell by the title below, this is going to be a video on feminine hygiene very important especially if you're in the southern hemisphere it is hot right now it is literally sweltering it's so hot it's just annoying it's that annoying kind of heat and when that happens we need to take care of ourselves you know we need to make sure that we smell good we look right we smell right too <laughs> So hygiene plays a very, very, very important part, especially when it comes down to Valerie. Mm -hmm. Valerie. So if you would like to see this video, please, definitely, you know what to do, please keep watching. So before I get into the meaty part of this video, I just have a glossary for you. Two things that you might know what they are, but because I phrase them differently, you might not know what they are. So Valerie. I have come up with a term which I use for that time of the month and the name is Valerie. So if I go Valerie, you know that I'm referring to that time of the month and if I go Petunia, then you know I'm referring to the vagina. So that is the glossary for today's video. So when it comes to feminine hygiene, it is very, very important for us to take care of ourselves, make sure that everything is functioning and operating well down there with uh, Petunia, I almost said with Valerie, with Petunia, especially, especially when it is the time of Valerie, especially when it is that time of the month, you want to make sure that everything still functions correctly or everything, you know, you've got the protective gear, protective equipment for that time of the month you just need to make sure that you are functioning correctly and you're looking and you're smelling comfortable and good to go with it right so this video is going to be essentially on the feminine products that I use that are staples in my bathroom or yeah in my bathroom some of them live in my bag that are staples 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 when it comes to just making sure that feminine hygiene is a real thing, that you feel comfortable, that you feel cool, you don't feel like all oh, just... Uh, uh, then I'm going to show you what these products are, okay? Okay. All right, so when it comes to Valerie, I mean, we know that Valerie comes every single month and we know, like we act like we don't know how it feels when Valerie comes, but we know exactly how it feels. We know how we hate the fact that Valerie is around unless you've been doing something, you know, you're not sure what's happening and you want Valerie to come around. But for the most part, most women really do not appreciate Valerie being around. I know, right? I know, we don't like it. So what happens is we use our things, our equipment that, you know, looks after us when Valerie is around. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I use uh, before we head on into the feminine hygiene part. So there's just really three essentials that I have with me when Valerie is around because I think that you need to have them. You need to have them unless you're planning on staining your clothes and staining your underwear and all that jazz. You need to have them with you, right? So these are the products that I use for when Valerie comes around. And then I he always, he always, you know those ads that you see that always, every time on the TV? Yes, always. These are Ultra Value Pack Sanitary Towels. I'm a pet, basically. Yeah, I'm a pet. So these are the ones that I use a lot. And essentially, that's what it looks like. It's packaged really nicely. It's very, very slim, which makes it easy for you to carry in your bag or in your sanitary bag thing. I really, really prefer this one because it's very, very thin. And when it's thin, it's a lot more comfortable to wear. Uh, for me, normally, most of the time, I only wear these at nighttime. During the day, I wear tampons, which I will show you 
what they look like in case you're not somebody who wears tampons but during the day i wear tampons because tampons are a lot more comfortable for me at night time especially when you've got a heavy flow it's a good way to sort of just let it clean your system without having something stuck up uh petunia all day so this is really good and then during the day which i recommend especially during the summer months no one wants to wear a pad when it's hot I, 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 I. tampons really come in they're so convenient because you can do a lot you can do a lot of activities exercises you can go swimming you can you know it, it gives you a whole lot more freedom than a pad does because with a pad you kind of feel that it's there right you know that it's there and when it's hot you know, the sweat and all of that oh girl all of those things that happen down there with a pad it tends to get a little bit more uncomfortable but if you wear a tampon during the day you're good to go because you don't even feel that it's there some come with an applicator if you are somebody that hasn't used tampons before i definitely recommend that you buy the ones that actually come with an applicator it'll make it easier for you when you insert the tampon inside petunia and it just traps everything all in there and you change it as the day goes um for me i don't know some you know there are people who can sit a really long time without having to change their tampons <laughs> For me, I have to change it at least every two to three hours. Whether it's full or not, I just feel like sometimes you just need a change, okay? You need a change. And I normally buy from Lilette's. This is the Lilette's Smart Fit 32 tampons, and this is for the regular flow. That's essentially what it looks like. These are panty liners. These are the Kotex panty liners, and these are great because, as well, they are also covered. So as you can see, they're covered, it's neat, it's proper, you slot it into your bag and you, you're good to go. And I love these because I carry quite a few of these and you just change them throughout the day. Whether you are on your period or not, whether you, um, sometimes you just want to change it. You don't want to keep the same panty liner on that you put on at 7 o'clock in the morning and have the same panty liner on more five. Why? You need plan. Why? It's they're very very thin. You can barely feel that they're there. Actually, you can't feel that they're there. So that's that's how good they are. So I just change it. I don't worry about it. I forget about it, and I continue about my day. But they're very 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 good. I absolutely love these. And then moving on to feminine hygiene. So there are products that you can use that are really 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 good for you. That are good for petunia. Okay. So now we're looking at petunia. What works for petunia? A huge huge thing is that. Cotton underwear is much better than your silky type of. I can't show you my underwear. I'm so Cotton underwear is very, very good as compared to the silk underwears and what have you. It's very good for petunia. So make sure that when you do wear underwear, it's cotton underwear. You don't have to wear it all the time. Hey, look, sometimes you're feeling kind of sexy. You know, you want to wear silk. That's fine. That's okay. But try to give petunia as much breathable room as, as possible and cotton does that the best okay so there are four products in my range that are very very good and work really really well for me when it comes to petunia right so the first thing that i employ that you have is an intimate wash and for intimate wash i use the gynecard ultimate intimate wash and i use it every single day it's got a ph of 4.5 and it's soap and scent free soap is not really good for uh, petunia don't want to make it too acidic up in there so soap is not really good but this is great for petunia and it's great to use on an everyday basis very very free of like it's not too acidic and it's not too alkaline it's just the perfect balance perfect ph balance for you to use for your uh, petunia friend every single day it's really really good uh unfortunately uh, Gynagod is quite pricey, it's around the 65, 70 Rand mark, but you do have ones from Lilettes as well, which run around the 30, 40 Rand mark, which are much better, you can buy two of those, but these are really, really good. Any form of feminine intimate wash is so, so good for Petunia than using Sunlight or, 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 or Lifebuoy or, or Lux. Okay, and then the next thing is intimate wipes and these I carry with me when I am out and about I have them in my bag in that same bag that carries the pads and the liners and the tampons I also have normally a lot along uh, maybe three or four of these at a time in that bag and these are also from Gynagod as well these are the sensitive individual feminine wipes literally looks like a wipe like you literally rip it open and it looks like this 
and you open it up while you're in the bathroom, while you're doing your nonozas, ne? and then you just open it up and you wipe with it. And it's really, really good because it's better. It's not as abrasive as tissues are. We're going to throw you away. It's not abrasive as tissues are, but it's really, really good for you as well. So it's really, really good. They're individually wrapped, which makes them even better. So this is good. You don't want to try out those. Lilette also has them as well. These are the two, um, the 10 feminine wipes. And one is gently scented with chamomile. And the other one, if I'm not mistaken, is gently scented with aloe vera. So it's up to you which one you want to use. But this is great as well because you can just carry this whole pack of 10 with you rather than uh, carrying the full on like the individually wrapped packs. This just makes life a lot more easier. You can carry this in your bag as well. If you're somebody who goes to gym, these are really, really useful. If you are somebody who's active and you're into sports, you go to gym, you do all those things. Even if you're just a day-to-day -day normal person who doesn't do these things, you like to sit and be a couch potato. Couch potato, but with intimate wipes. Just, just every now and again, just clean yourself. It makes you feel refreshed. It keeps it protected in there. It keeps it clean, scent-free. Very, very nice. They work really, really well as well. The last thing that I want to mention that I think you should keep on you all the time. This is the end of the video. I know it's a long video, but it's a very, very important video, so I don't mind how long it is. The last thing is an intimate gel. So this is the Femagene Intimate Soothing Gel. The reason why I do Femagene instead of Gynecard with this one is because the Gynecard one is a lot smaller and a lot more expensive. But this one does the very same thing and a lot more bigger so you can keep this for a long time. So on those days where you feel like, mm, something's, something's not right with Petunia, what, mm, Petunia, what's going on? You start to feel a little bit of itchiness or uncomfortability or a little bit of an odor or just Petunia being really, really uncomfortable, which happens from time to time. This is really good with uh, dealing with irritation or any sort of itchings or infections or odors. This is really good for that. So you just use this and you dust, wipe it and then I mean, apply it on there, then you put your underwear on and you let it go. So you'd apply this maybe three times a day to deal with it and then you just forget about it. And it's really, really good because these are great because they deal with the germs and the bacteria that is down there that makes it really uncomfortable for us women. Very important to have as well in your feminine hygiene stash. Okay? Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is on feminine hygiene and the products that I use when it comes to feminine hygiene. If you enjoy these types of videos, please do let me know. But other than that, this video has been long enough. So I'm going to bid you adieu and see you in the next video.